Just exactly how do you get your clean laundry and fresh provisions back to your anchored boat without getting them soaked in the dinghy? Hi, I'm Carolyn Sherlock, and on this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, I'll share a few thoughts on dry bags, a cruiser's best friend. Now, today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by Teak Guard from All Guard Products. Are you looking to refinish your boat's teak with a minimum of mess and fuss? Look no further. Teak Guard's non-toxic water-based formulas for cleaning and finish will turn your teak from dingy to sparkling in no time. It's what I used on Barefoot Gal. Use coupon code BG20 for 15% off your order of $50 or more. AllGuardProducts.com Admire your take. Don't spend your life maintaining it. If your boat is anchored or on a mooring and you're taking groceries, laundry, and electronics to and from shore in the dinghy, dry bags are almost essential gear in my book. Sure, if it's a calm day, a garbage bag may do just fine. And the plastic grocery bags might keep your flour, sugar, and oatmeal dry. But most dinghies have at least a few drops of water in them, and once it gets blowing over about 10 knots, there's going to be some spray. At 20 knots, a lot of spray, and you can't always wait for a nice day. When I've just spent 20 bucks to do laundry, I don't want it soaked with salt water. Groceries are expensive enough, let alone the time involved in walking a mile to the store. Wet toilet paper is pretty much useless. And let's not even talk about the consequences of getting salt water into a laptop or a tablet. True dry bags aren't cheap to buy, but they protect so much better than trash bags. No doubt about it, they've saved me a lot of money over the long haul. Basically, dry bags are made of heavy-duty vinyl with welded seams. No needle holes to let water in. The top is reinforced, and you fold it over a minimum of three times and clip the two sides together to form a circle. Bottoms are usually made from heavier material than the sides. The regular bags fold flat for storage. Backpack-style ones also collapse, but do take up more room. There are some bags marketed as lightweight dry bags that are made from a much lighter nylon fabric. They're not nearly as waterproof as the heavyweight bags, but they are cheaper. I have a couple of small ones of these. I used to use one as a purse until I got my Yugo bag. If you're really tight on a budget, the lightweight bags are tempting, but realize they're not nearly as waterproof or as tough as the true dry bags. Now, I have six good-sized heavyweight bags and three smaller ones. Most of them I've had for close to 20 years. Good dry bags just don't wear out. My favorites are the Seal Line brand. They're super tough, and yet the fabric is pliable, with bottoms that are even thicker than the sides. I have one made by a different company of a much stiffer fabric, and it's much harder to get it rolled down compactly. I use my bags multiple times a week, basically whenever I'm taking anything to or from shore, and the Sea Line bags have taken a ton of abuse. I know there's some other brands that look similar to Sea Line, but I don't know if they're really as tough. My favorite all-around bag is the 55 liter size. It holds a lot, but I can still handle it. Laid flat, it measures 13 inches by 25. Amazon, for some reason, calls it 3 inches by 6 inches by 22. I can only think that's folded up. Seal Line's Baja line is just a simple, straightforward bag. No outside pockets or anything fancy. And that works well for laundry, groceries, and electronics. In general, I've found that the fewer the bells and whistles on bags, the longer they last. Shoulder straps seem to pull out after a while, and that's why none of the bags that I still have have straps. Now, I also have a couple of 30-liter bags. They're 11 inches by 19, and that's a good size for my laptop with a towel wrapped around it as padding. I don't like this size nearly as well for groceries, as it's just sort of small. On the measurements, those are with the bags laid flat, 
when stood up, the diameter of the bag will be less. And you have to turn the top down at least three times to keep the water out. So allow six inches of the length for that. Now you can also get backpack style dry bags. These are great if you have to carry laundry or groceries any distance. I just recently got one and absolutely love it. The seal line ones are really good. They're wonderful. I think you'll be happy with them. The 115 liter size is really good for a backpack type one. You can buy the seal line bags on Amazon. There are links in the show notes. Whatever you get, I think you're going to be really happy. As I said, I consider them part of our absolutely essential equipment. Thanks for listening to the Boat Galley Podcast. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, spread the word, please. Tell a friend. Slow down.